Well, anyway, <laughs> my person's name is Dr. William Beaumont. I don't know this guy. He was a military doctor. At in the in U.S.? The 18, in 1822, at least, he was a military doctor in the U.S., in Michigan, posted in Michigan. And somebody was brought to him, a guy named uh, Alexis St. Martin, who was a fur trader who had been shot in the I gut. I know this story. Oh, yeah, this is it's like so a pretty weird. common story. But it's really yeah. weird and kind of <laughs> sad and like a little bit like a love story or something. So he got shot in the gut. <laughs> And I didn't know he was done. Did he get while he was like fur trapping? It was an accident. Okay. Somebody was like on a boat, and his gun fired into Alexis's gut, and blew him open. So he went to the doctor, and the doctor Beaumont, Doctor Beaumont, fixed him up, kind of, because when he healed, his stomach lining and his flesh on the outside of his body healed together, so it made a hole that led right into his stomach. And so Dr. Beaumont... This is something that they do intentionally now. Now. Uh, sometimes when they want to create, like, a, they do it to cows I so that they can that. do research to cows, but also when they're doing it with your intestines to create a thing so that if you can't go poop out your butt anymore, you can go poop out your front. Mm. Nice. Instead of having to come out <laughs> the other end. So I guess right. Yeah. Well, because you, you still need to poop. Yeah. Yeah. But because you don't want it to come out the, the front, which is no. apparently a thing according to Dr. Aaron Carroll. That is yeah. possible, <laughs> and I'm really uncomfortable about it. We should do a side show <laughs> on fecal that vomiting. Episode, I went out. We can cut this loop, but I went out to dinner with Allison and her mom. Oh, don't cut this. And uh, Allison's mom. We. I was telling her about it, and she was like, "Oh yeah," and we just talked about it all through dinner. And I was, was like, she a I doctor love this or lady. something? No, she just had heard like a. Podcast about it or something, and all about it. Anyway, this is something I know yeah. about because it's possible that I have, I may someday have to have my colon removed, and then that might happen to me. Oh, or I will poop up my front. Uh. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do a live stream about it. Yeah. We'll oh it. no, yeah, do it on camera, like Katie Couric got her. Yeah. What did she get? <laughs> Sam just lifted two fingers up, like of <laughs> Katie Couric. Uh, did she have like a? Yeah, she had a colonoscopy. colonoscopy. That's what oh. it was. Can't remember the word. They do that <laughs> this, for that. This right? is when you're getting like a gynecology exam. Sometimes they just like feel Stick around it up in your. Yeah. yeah, they do yeah. that. To, they do that with the butt too. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Uh, prostate exams. Okay. Yeah. yeah, accurate finger usage, Sam. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay, sorry, Katie. <laughs> I did distract you. I'm oh, sorry. Yes. He had a hole in his stomach, mm-hmm. and Dr. Beaumont was like, that's pretty cool, I guess. So then he wrote up a contract. He, I think, convinced this guy, basically, that he couldn't be a fur trapper anymore. So he wrote up a contract that was like, you're going to be my manservant because you can't have any other job, so you have to come you be my manservant. Because you'll get infected. Yeah, because your guts are sloshing around, so you yeah. should come be my manservant. And he was like, okay. So he worked as a manservant for him for a while. And eventually, the Dr. Beaumont convinced Alexis that he should let him dip tie food up on a string and dip it into his tummy hole <laughs> and pull it out every hour and see what was up. That's pretty organized. Like he had a well, chart. Yeah, there's definitely yeah. science out there. Yeah. Yeah. He did so many. I listened to a podcast about it right before this and he did like every kind of food you could imagine and he dipped it in for like three hours. He would dip it in at like regular intervals and mm-hmm. study it. So um, that doesn't did sound that cheese, bad. Did he cheese though? I, yeah. Okay, I'm good. sure he did cheese. Good. So that doesn't sound that awful, except for that while he was doing this to him, he was really actually making him be his manservant. So he was making him <laughs> chop wood for him and carry like his <laughs> luggage around. <laughs> well, making <laughs> it. Was he paying him? Well, sure, but he had a hole in his <laughs> <laughs> And he couldn't be a mountain man anymore, so he made him be like, he had a hole in his stomach. So he shouldn't have had to do the it. Ver- I, 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 I heard that it. there's kind of a little bit of debate over whether the hole was even definitely going to happen on its own. And oh, then Dr. Yeah. Beaumont kind of, kind of maybe kept Ooh. it open. I guess sure. that's kind of what I thought, is that he did it on purpose Cause it to keep to heal. researching it. would take it. a long time to heal. I don't know. Yeah, like that he, cause, like, yeah you'd think that he, I kind of imagined that he like sewed it open mm-hmm. so that it healed. So I don't he could think, be like, maybe, maybe he was a bad doctor. Yeah, but I think but I, we did learn a bunch about how digestion works. Yes, yeah. that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so eventually, um, Alexis had enough of it and left. And some people say that he escaped and ran away. But that's not, I can't really find anything that corroborates that he escaped and ran away. But he went to Canada and got married and had kids. And in the meantime, the doctor 
had taken samples of the stomach acid and was still doing the research. And that's when he started to find out a lot of stuff about stomach acid. He like basically discovered that it existed because he was looking inside of his belly one time and he saw it secrete out of the side. Mm. And he licked it. And what did it taste like? Oh, wow! <laughs> I, I love how science used to get <laughs> yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. We're just like, what does it, it taste like? Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, that'll, that's a data point. So let's just <laughs> yeah. eat it. Somehow, Alexis ended up back with Dr. Beaumont. <gasps> And some people say that he got kidnapped from Canada and brought back, but I don't think that's true. It said that on Wikipedia, but I couldn't find anything else to corroborate that. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I think what what <clears throat> what I heard also was that Dr. Beaumont got famous for writing the book about the stomach acid, and then just kind of like tempted Alexis back down with money. Mm-hmm. So then they toured around the world. And people were probably like putting their fingers inside the stomach hole and stuff. Licking his stomach acid. Licking the stomach acid. And he was like a human curiosity. And this, they were like the oh. toast of the town and they were touring the country, giving talks and stuff. And then eventually, um, Dr. Beaumont died. And then years later, in, when Alexis died, in his will, he said he wanted to be left out in the sun for a couple of days so he'd rot. And then buried somewhere secret so that nobody could ever dig him up and do more experiments on him because he didn't want to be a human so experiment tired anymore. Of it. <laughs> yeah, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, and at the end, and from so Alexis left again, and after he left Dr. Beaumont the last time, Dr. Beaumont spent the rest of his life writing letters to him, trying to get him to come back and be his human test subject again. So a little bit of a love story. Well, it just seems yes. so weird that these two men spent their whole lives together, yeah. basically. For hours on end, having food dipped into him, mm. and it's like very intimate. And yeah. yeah, you should write. You should write some fanfic. Mm-hmm. Take oh. it to the next level. <laughs> oh, I want to know the whole story, but yeah. I don't think there's I only think like his, only Doctor Beaumont's journals. I think are left over, and that's not going to be a credible source. No, because he was it's not like, going to tell you anything about their torrid love affair. Yeah, no, <laughs> <definitely> <laughs> he's not. like drawing hard, but the cover is like. Uh, like Saint, Saint, what's his name? With, uh, Alexis Saint Martin. Yeah. With A yeah. and Beaumont Saint Martin. Yeah, yeah. 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 Love letters in his stomach hole. Can you read your stomach hole? Yeah. Find out for science. Yes. Yes. Stuffing love letters in your stomach hole. <laughs> Just left you a little thing in there. <laughs> you wake up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> when your cookies were invented. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this snippet of Holy Fucking Science. If you would like more, you can see the full episode at youtube.com slash holyfuckingscience. That's right. Holy Fucking Science is a podcast about science that is not for children. It contains mild violence, swearing, alcohol consumption, and sometimes the science isn't super vetted, so don't share it in the classroom. For more Holy Fucking Science, we are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play Music, also other places where you might be able to find podcasts. Thank you for watching. <laughs>